guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna address a really common concern or maybe fear when it comes to um, health results and health outcomes. And I'm gonna give you an example with fertility and I'm gonna give you an example with uh, healing the gut, okay? Because I've had both things, um, both things said to me in both unique situations, okay? So let me explain what I'm talking about here. One thing that holds people back from moving forward in a program or a plan or a protocol, hold on, my hair is, ah, you guys, I missed my hair appointment because I was not feeling good one day, of course, and so I have roots. I don't like them. All right, so, okay. One thing that holds people back, and let me know if this is you, um, from starting something is you want to know that it's going to work for you. And it's really funny because I had um, both people who have said this to me are coaches and um, like in the coaching industry. And I think it's really interesting and it's fine, you know, because everybody has strengths and certainty and confidence in certain areas of life and other areas of life are just not as familiar and not as known until you tackle it, right? Until you decide to make it the way that you want, right? So while I'm in health and I'm coaching people on health and those type of things, it's because I've mastered it and I've overcome a, a ton of stuff and I get it and I know it like I know myself, like it's just innate. And I have coaches for like business, right? And marketing and um, mindset and those type of things, right? So it makes sense that just like if I was going to sign up for a program, I would want to like, you know, it would need to feel right for me. But ultimately, and it's so interesting because coaches say this all the time, which is your um, results are all on you, right? It's all on you. And it's not anybody else's job to rescue you or save you or tell you that everything for sure is going to be exactly like this. But we know that when we're empowered, we are in our creator mode, right? We, you're either in the state of being where you're reacting to what you see, you're reacting to life, or you know that you're in charge. And you know that ultimately it's you, it's your say. And whenever you do sign up for a program or when you decide to um, go on a health journey or do a protocol or work with somebody, that you're the powerful part of it, right? You're the one that moves through. And the coach or the the program that is guiding you and that is assisting you from someone's perspective that you resonate with, right? That's That needs to be in place that has gone through what you're going through or wanting to achieve and they just know some stuff that you aren't so practiced in and that's it. And so what I want to talk about is this idea that um, what if I'm different or what if my unique circumstances are different or my body's symptoms or conditions are different. Okay, I want to address this in both ways with gut issues and then with fertility, okay? So first with the gut issues, um, I had somebody that was thinking about going, thinking about taking my Trust Your Gut course and protocol, which is a six week gut healing method that I've created with food. And yeah, it's like resetting your gut. And she wanted to know like, well don't, all these other people are doing food sensitivity tests and you know, testing my, <laughs> poop and doing all these tests, right? All the bacteria, all the parasites and whatever. And what I said to her was, well, you don't need those though because the, the root cause 
of all the issues is the same no matter how it's expressing in somebody, right? So in in, in case of gut issues, and I mean, there's nuances, right? But if you're having lots of bloating, if you're having inflammation, if you can't lose the weight, um, if your symptoms are mim mimicking or similar to or are IBS or constipation, like those things, that everything is coming back to the same root core issues, right? It's going inside of the body and knowing that there's things there that shouldn't be, like there's pathogens there, there's liver issues, there's toxin issues and those kind of things. And so the way that you heal that is you eradicate it and yet you can do that through food and everybody does that through food. It works the same, okay? And so anyways, she ended up signing up and she got rid of all her bloating and lost seven pounds and she was amazingly happy and excited and joyful. Yeah, and it was simple and it was faster than everyone else's programs anyways. And then I had someone um, say this to me about getting pregnant, right? And so I have a program called Baby Body Ready, which the premise of Baby Body Ready, you guys, is not that you're gonna be pregnant in six weeks or 12 weeks, although you could, right? You totally could. Um, there's a lot of ways that we can accelerate our results, and I'm talking about the mindset, more manifestation aspect, and also the physical part. There is a, the way that I teach is like fast, basically, because like, why are we waiting for results, okay? So I like to do it that way, but it's up to you. Um, but the question is like, well, what if it doesn't work for me? And to that, I want to say fertility is a, a health condition, right? It's a health condition. So like, I don't know this person's condition, but... If you had PCOS, if you had endometriosis, if you had irregular cycles, if you had um, other like health conditions that aren't directly related to fertility, but let's say you had, um, I don't know, like diabetes or you had um, migraines or anything like that, like that, those are signs that the body needs support. The body needs clearing, the body needs cleansing. It needs to be helped so that fertility can become a dominant priority. And so the way that we do that, all of those things, again, same root cause issues. Same root cause issues. And that's why a plant-based diet is healing and beautiful and powerful. And the way that I um, teach working with these different things, it's not the same for trust your gut and it's not the exact same for baby body ready and there's you know there's there's things that are unique to each type of conditions and there's mindset issues that are unique to each type of conditions and those things have to be addressed and so but what you always have to remember is the ego likes to tell you that you're different that you're separate that it won't work for you or why or if you've tried things, you could, if you think it won't work for you, then you're gonna create a situation and an experience that shows you that you're different, separate, and it doesn't work for you. But really, that's a choice. And always, always coming back to like, how does my body work in relationship to healing the gut? How does my body work in relationship to um, getting pregnant or having fer fertility, right? That breeds certainty that breeds confidence and so what i know for sure is that health is health and there's only uh so much that could be going on okay and the more that we can simplify this the more that we can make it very simple and clear and this is what we've got to do and this is our part and this is how we help our body to get rid of um, inflammation. This is how we help our gut reset and be able to eliminate well. This is how we clear out the root cause of PCOS or endometriosis. This is how we get our body to create a natural healthy cycle. Like all of that you can do with food and you do with the same main concept. So that's the way that I'm very different from 
different medical professionals or even professionals that like to take a more specific, like I'm going to look at every hormone, I'm going to look at every parasite, I'm going to look at every poop sample. You know, you don't need that, you guys. And when we get too micro, our attention is on what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong. You're in the state of being of I don't have that, I'm not that versus dude, this is how my body works. Like when I do this, everything regulates itself. That's so much more peaceful to me. That's so much more freeing to me. And it is how it works, right? Like it's not our job to like be doctors and know everything, unless you are a doctor and you want to know everything. But like knowing that food is medicine, like literally medicine, that you can give your body the nutrients, the requirements, the ability to cleanse itself, the ability to... Um, saturate your adrenal glands with lots of energy so that you create the correct levels of hormones. Like that's beautiful, right? And so you aren't different. You're not separate. Your body doesn't have some weird, unique uh, um, situation where food won't work for you unless you believe that it can't or won't. And that's like the underlying factor, right? Food will do what food will do. And then we've got to look at what do we believe and who do we say that we are and what do we decide that we're going to have and who do we say has the power. I had this conversation with a client just yesterday when I said, what's it going to take for you to believe that you can, and this was a gut situation, so generically it was like, what, do you, what is it going to take for you to believe that you can heal your gut? And she was like, well, when I eat these foods and nothing bad happens. And so I said to her, who has the power there? Do you have the power or does the food have the power? And she was like, the food has the power, right? And so, so often we become out of power. We become like codependent on our results, wanting to be reassured and wanting to know that, okay, this is going to be right for me. This is going to be what works for me when really all there is, is what there is. All there is, is how food works. All there is, is knowing that your body has always got your back. It's always on your side and that it literally health is created from a proper digestive system and proper cleansing and you eating foods that actually belong in here, right? We never were taught the basics of health. We never were taught the basics of nutrition. We never were taught. This is how you keep your digestive system from going whack, right? And why are so many women going through fertility issues, you guys? It's because of the culture. It's because of the way that we're fed. It's because of the um, concepts that we're fed that it's hard that if you're 35, oh my God, your eggs are old. And that's not true, right? I have a video on that, that age is not a fertility issue. It's a health issue. And health issues seem to accelerate after that amount of time because of the world and culture we live in and because of the way that we've been feeding ourselves knowingly or unknowingly, not knowing the relationship between how we eat and how our body will react. And the idea is out there that it's not normal to have like perfect health or it's hard or that it's unknown or it's a mystery and I don't know what to do. Right, well, we know what to do, okay? We've got to help the inside of our body so it can express health outwardly. And so we all are the same. We all have the same organs. We all have the same way that the organs communicate and function. And food is food, and food will work inside this body and inside your body. And it's up to you to believe in that. And it's up to you to believe that you're the one that's going to decide that I'm going to have this outcome. I'm going to have this outcome and I'm going to move forward on a path that feels like truth to me. And so if if what I'm saying doesn't make sense to you, then, you know, go find something that does, right? Because, you know, I'm not for everybody. I'm just for the people that want to know that their body can heal itself and that food really, really matters, and that your mindset really, really matters, and that you are the one in control, and that you do have the say. You do have the power. So this is just a reminder to come back into your power, maybe the way that you have it in other areas of life, where you're like, nope, I'm in charge here. I've got this. Like I know that I can create the amount of money I want, or I can create the clients that I want, or I can create the beautiful relationship that I want, right? 
it's the same with health. It's the same with food. It's just not as familiar sometimes, right? And so um, we need to remember that here also it's the same, you know? You can do it. You can have it. You need to find something to believe in that resonates with you, but always, always that something has to be a thing that says, yes, you can have it. Yes, you can get there. And yes, you can do it in a way that isn't torturous. It's in a way that feels right. It's in a way that feels good. And so I love doing this. I love doing this work with food. I love doing this work with looking at what you're thinking and believing about yourself and your body and health and how things work because you just have to come back to how it how it's true, how it works, how everything's rigged in our favor, you guys. So you do ultimately have that control in the best way ever, okay? So I just wanted to remind you of that. And we've got to drop this story that we're different, we're separate, we're left out, that you have some unique hard situation. There couldn't be anything more hard than what I had, let me tell you, if you want to have a baby, right? I literally went from no way do I ever think this could ever happen to me naturally to now being like, I could get pregnant again next month if I wanted to, you know? It doesn't matter. When you know how it works, when you let your body respond, it will respond. It wants to, it's ready, it's always waiting on you, okay? So, if you're interested in working with me in private coaching, in um, my Trust Your Gut protocol, there's um, one-on-one options with that, and then in Baby Body Ready, I'm happy to work with you. It's one of my greatest passions in life. Um, you can check out all of those things below. Make sure you guys are subscribed, click the bell, you know the drill, and I'll talk to you next time.